Guard. Was the Volus ambassador here earlier? Yes, he was, Commander. I need in. Spectre business. I'll unlock the office when you're ready. I'm ready now. Zaid. You're gonna go on about them all night. Just get the car up here quick. Little bastard's even heavier than he looks. Said? Hmm. That's interesting. So I guess we'll see him again. Possibly. It's amazing that nobody sees any of this stuff going on. Like shooting and everything. How long till we killed Kolak? Once the credits go through, was beginning to think you weren't interested in the money. I'm not. Because Korlak worked for Cerberus? What'd they do to you? None of your goddamn business. He waking up? This is Commander Shepard. Can you hear me? <sighs> yes. Yes, I can hear you. Tell me where you are. Still near the Presidium. CSEC will check Selkish arms when they realize I'm missing. They won't give a damn when they realize you sold them out to Cerberus. Yeah, smart little guy. Wait. Cerberus is planning to attack a colony that. Stay calm. Help's coming. Now arriving at Presidium Commons. Zaid used to work for Cerberus. Ask him. Why? Why go after your old employer, Zaid? Now you know my name, all of a sudden. Good question. Hmm. Just gonna have to get a move on. That way, no. Damn, wrong door. We need you alive to stop Cerberus. Cerberus is after a Turian colony. Kill me, and they get it. Drop my name. Shepard's investigating. She's a recent acquaintance. How recent? Very. Shit. All right, I'm listening. Been a while, Zaid. Shepard. Glad I wasn't just making an ass of myself over a hunch. 
Undisciplined bastards. This is what I get for signing up at the last minute. Where's Korlak? I'm here, Commander. I... You saved my life. I almost died because the Turians thought I was still with Cerberus. Did those mercs hurt you? I'm fine. They wanted me alive until the fees were delivered for my capture. They didn't care about what I had to say. You kept mentioning a colony in your message. Information on a Turian planet's defense system. They'll strike soon. But if I tell you which planet they're attacking, Cerberus will know I turned traitor. Turn? You already betrayed your own people. We saved your life. Tell us what planet you put in danger. I can offer a bargain. The Volus bombing fleet. In tactical terms, it's worth far more than a colony. Or you could give us both. You can warn the Turians there'll be an attack, Commander. That should be general enough to ward off suspicion. <laughs> Beat him, Zaid. He tried to do the right thing before. It failed because you trusted the wrong people. Now here's your chance to make up for it. You're giving us Volus support, and you're going to help us make Cerberus pay for using you. I can't. You can. Waste of everyone's time trying to appeal to a Volus's better nature, Shepard. Aphis. The colony's name is Aphis. Cerberus wants its shipyards. And the bombing fleet? Yes, it's yours, Commander. I'll speak with Citadel Security about this... incident. You have my thanks. Took him long enough to spit that out. Zaid, what are you doing here? Later. C6 on their way. Won't be too pleased with the mess we left them. Catch up with me at the docks if you like. That was interesting seeing Saeed again. Whoa, 17 Paragon. That is one hefty number, and apparently we can't go any higher than that. I mean, obviously we can, it just won't show. I mean, apparently I've already scanned the shit out of everything, so I'd be really, really surprised if Spectre I don't Spectre. have Red it already. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. Apparently not. Spectre status recognized. One moment, please. Now arriving at docking bay E24, emergency civilian housing. Got some stuff to do down here. Commander, thanks for coming. This must be really hard on your sister. I'm very sorry for her loss. See her go through this. Damn it. There I go again. I hope Sarah can find some peace here. I'm glad I can be here for her. She wanted me to say something about her family. I wanted Thomas to hear it. You need to be strong for Sarah now. You're right. I'm so proud of her. She's no career soldier, but there she is. Coping with all this. Reminds me of Dad. Whatever was going on, he'd put a smile on his face for us. 
Your family made you what you are. He did his best with four daughters and a strong wife. He always said, live fire exercises was good prep for facing his girly horde. Your sister's waiting. You'll be fine. Right. Here we go. Okay. Remember the trip to the beach the summer before I left for basic training? I'll meet you back aboard the Normandy. What the hell are you looking at? Nothing. Nothing. Hell you looking Wondered at? if you'd show up, Shepard. Figured you'd be too busy recruiting goddamn armies for this war you're in charge of. I could always use more help. I'll bet. I've seen footage of what happened on Earth. Tell you what. I'll see if some old contacts of mine are still around. Can't promise you anything, but if enough of them are still breathing... I can lend a hand. Hey, good stuff. Who are those people you were with? A bunch of mercs from Omega. Signed on with them when I heard they were making a hit on Cerberus. Should have studied the job longer. Who are those people you were with? A bunch of mercs from Omega. It's James. Signed on with them when I heard they were making oh, a hit God. on Cerberus. James? Commander, what brings you down here? I was about to ask you that. Well, after our little chat, ah, I made up my mind. I'm gonna join the N7 program. And you're celebrating by getting a tattoo? <laughs> sort of. See, there's no official channels to go through right now. So, I guess this is my way of making it official. Technically, I'm just an N7 recruit, but, you know, I figure with you as my training officer, how could I fail? Right? I'm flattered, but I wouldn't exactly say I'm training you. Not officially. But what the hell is in this goddamn war? I'm just saying, whether you like it or not, you're my direct superior, and you're N7. So I take my lead from you. And you know, I'll take whatever advice you got. Really? Sure. The good advice. Well, they wouldn't ask you if they didn't think you could handle it. Here's hoping. But the real work starts now. Uh-huh. I know it seems like I don't take things seriously. But when I commit to something, I fully commit. Clearly. Hey, I won't let you down. The only person you need to prove yourself to is the one standing in the mirror every morning. Good point. You know, that's gonna sting for a few days. You gonna be ready for duty? Always. Hey, maybe we should get matched. You want me to get an N7 tattoo? <laughs> N7? Sure. Or you could get my name done. Somewhere special. You are such a tease, Vega. Who, me? You ever gonna make good on all this flirting? Uh, I was just. <laughs> I didn't mean to. You uh, know, I'd take that. I was just. <laughs> That's what I thought. Later, Lieutenant. Later. Ah! <laughs> careful! That was pretty funny. Got him, uh, He was like, oh, what do I say to that? All right, let's see what other missions we got going. Wait. 
or is it Cyprus? Embassy. I'll take one more run in at the embassy and then one see what's going on. It's got to be now somewhere. arriving at Presidium like, Embassy. I don't understand how this stuff could just disappear. Because I mean, if I've scanned everything, I must have it all. So it would make no sense, seeing as how I my can't find any of this damn duty, thing. and I'm about to get shipped out too. I was told you might be able to help me. Of course. These missions seem to Alright, so I guess we'll just get back to the ship since apparently there is nothing else to do on the Citadel for now at least. What you saw. Yes, Sergeant. Well, that your brother private seems like yes. Thank you, Gang Commander. Running her mouth. Talk about everything.